for about 35 seconds on January 12, 2010, the Earth shook with tremendous force over the Caribbean island of Haiti. Buildings toppled, roads buckled, and entire communities crumbled to the ground. Those closest to the earthquake's epicenter near the town of Leogon, as well as in other communities to the west of the capital city of Port-au-Prince, suffered significant loss. More than 200,000 people reportedly perished in the 7.0 magnitude earthquake, and hundreds of thousands were injured. An estimated 3 million people were affected by the quake, and today throngs of Haitian families struggle to survive in tents, shelters pieced together out of scrap materials, and simply out on open land. The earthquake affects the people's lives severely. And after the earthquake, not only we have millions of people without home, and they're looking for shelter. Most of them can't even find a shelter. And uh, and for food supply, it's been very difficult after the earthquake. And and it had it been good before and. And the earthquake just made it worse for them because we had a lot of people with a job and, and they were trying hard to live and after the earthquake it just got worse and worse so everybody is going hungry uh, living very difficultly and, and and worse after the earthquake they got to live under shelter and they can't even most of them can't even find a tent lives were forever changed that day. Yet in the midst of it all, God never stopped moving, making his presence known to the ever-resilient Haitian people. Haitians immediately began rallying themselves to provide search and rescue. Aid workers and others converged on the island to bring help and support. The Lot Carey Baptist Foreign Mission Convention was among those offering aid through its various partners. Lot Carey's network of churches in Haiti, the Strategic Union of Baptist Churches of Haiti, immediately went into action by establishing a feeding program for the hungry and providing cash and grocery grants to families, among other things. The Strategic Union provided these essentials while some of its very own churches were destroyed and parishioners left homeless. You are here as a witness. To reach out to our brothers and sisters in this time of need. Support also has come through various other Lot Carey partners and a collaboration joining Lot Carey and four of America's largest historic African American Baptist organizations is providing $50 million to help rebuild Haiti and provide assistance to earthquake survivors. The collaboration marks the first time Lot Carey, the National Baptist Convention USA, the National Missionary Baptist Convention of America, the National Baptist Convention of America, and the Progressive National Baptist Convention have joined for a united effort. But you are not alone. Uh, we have come uh, to stand alongside you. Truly, God is moving enabling the people of Haiti to rise again. The long road to recovery is underway, and plans include building homes, healthcare clinics and schools, reconstructing churches, and deploying medical personnel. Nutrition will continue to be a priority in the days ahead, and a focus on economic development through efforts including family business grants will help ensure self-sustainability. Isaiah 40 verse 31 tells us, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Yes, in time, Haiti will rise again.